Kiki Chira. I'm from、um, Yokosuka Hayama, Japan. And I volunteer for PBS. I didn't really know about Hoku till 2007. And now I'm here. When I decide to come here, I just know that if I don't come here, I know that I'm gonna regret. And then I didn't just wanna lose the chance to change my life. When we first met Saki back in 2009, she knew two words of English. She, she knew hi and sorry. And Nainoa told me and Hanoi, This is Saki, she's from Japan. She wants to learn navigation. So I learned、um, to watch people, how they work on the canoe. So I just try to watch really carefully and how they move, and I try to follow them. Once we got to know her, like, we saw what a great person she was and like, how nice and caring. She was, so it was just easy after that to, to just become good friends. Her newfound family and passion is what inspired Saki to grow as an individual and as a valued crew member for the worldwide voyage. I think one of the amazing things about Saki is she learns and she catches on super quickly. I went to HCC and went into the boat repair.、Um, Small fabrication and boat repair program in MTC. I thought that's really like good for my voyaging skill too. So I know how to fix the canoe and how to build a canoe. She's just one of those people that when she sets her mind to it, like she'll get it done. And she's also really dependable. I think. She's probably put in close to the most hours out of anyone in dry dock, you know? And I think without her, like, the canoe wouldn't be nearly as ready as it is. Saki was selected as one of the apprentice navigators aboard Hiki Analia on the first international leg of the worldwide voyage. And while the entire journey is a dream come true, there is no doubt that the defining moment was when Saki was the first aboard Hiki Analia to sight land outside of Tahiti after being out on the open ocean for more than two weeks. Saki Ichiban! Saki Ichiban! After completing her 2,500 mile voyage to Tahiti, Saki continued her inspiring journey as a crew member through French Polynesia, Samoa, and now Aotearoa. I just do it. I just decide and then I just do it. <laughs> But yeah, I don't really get scared, especially on the canoe. I miss my home. But right now, what I want to do is not in Japan. So I'm really happy and I think I'm really lucky because my family are really supportive and they're happy that I'm doing what、I'm, I like to do. This is Eva Lani Kuali i k a h o o h a n o h a n o with OEB TV, home of the worldwide voyage. Sail with us at hokulea.com. Aloha. <laughs>